All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Students at Belfry High School met Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg Sunday during an event at the Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. During the event, students were given the opportunity to showcase their technology skills. The students have been using software developed by Zuckerberg and his wife, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Belfry's science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics students and those in advanced computer classes presented their robots and electronic games to Zuckerberg. The projects were created just four weeks ago. We built them and we programmed them to interview an Alzheimer's patient and report back to a nurse of like a daily checkup. We've been working closely with the nursing uh, program here and they've gave us questions to ask the patients and stuff and what a typical checkup is like. It has several different sensors on it and that can be put on it to be programmed to do whatever we need it to. For example, we have two touch sensors. Whenever we touch them, they will stop, start, turn, or back up, or whatever you need them to do. We also have a color sensor. It reads the light density off of the black tape and the, the white light to make it follow along. Mostly like we made games from what we knew, from what we've learned previously in our other coding classes. Many have mixed emotions about meeting Zuckerberg and what it was like to showcase their technology skills in front of one of the leading members of the industry. It was scary but also very exciting at the same time. He was easy to talk to. He was a very personal yeah. guy. He was so humble. The visit was part of a trip that has taken Zuckerberg to Kentucky, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania over the past few days as part of his Year of Travel Challenge. In Belfry, Shelby Still, EKB News.